So what is the optimal zone anyway and how do we reach it? Does reaching the optimal zone guarantee us luscious flowing espresso? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video and I'm going to show you on the La Specialista from DeLonghi. But these principles can be applied to any espresso machine. Hello, my name is Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner and I am a home espresso enthusiast just like you guys. So let's get right into it. What is the optimal zone anyway? And if I think about how the Italians define a certified espresso, among other factors, one of the most important is, of course, brew pressure. And the brew pressure should be nine bars plus or minus one bar. If you take a look on the La Specialista, there is a manometer here and directly at noon is eight bars and one notch above it is nine. And that's what we're going to try to reach. So how do we get there anyway? Okay, there's just three main factors you have to consider in order to reach the optimal zone. Okay, so the first thing that you have to consider is grind amount. And this is really defined by the basket that you're using. The basket I have in here now is a double. And in this basket, I can fit about 16 grams. So you just have to look at the baskets that you have. They will normally be labeled as being able to hold 14, 16, or 18 grams. So that is the first thing. The second thing, of course, is the grind fineness. So that's what they call dialing in a machine. And I've got the DeLonghi set up to a grind setting of two right now. That is one notch away from the finest that it can grind. Now that's just trial and error. Another part of the equation of a certified Italian espresso is that the extraction should take 25 seconds plus or minus five seconds. And in that time, we should reach a ratio of about two to one. So if we put in 16 grams, then we expect to get 32 grams out. Okay, the third factor for reaching the optimal zone is, of course, your distribution and your tamping. If you distribute and tamp well, then you're going to create one homogeneous coffee puck or coffee cake, and that is going to provide just the right resistance to the incoming water. Oh, and a fourth thing that I nearly forgot to mention, and this is maybe the most important thing, you need fresh beans. Now, I'm not saying freshly opened beans from the supermarket, you need freshly roasted beans. These ones that I got right here were roasted on the 1st of July, so 20 days ago, and that is gonna provide us with a good extraction. You need fresh beans in order to reach the optimal zone. So let's go ahead and do a demonstration. First, I will pull a shot based on how I've got this machine dialed in, and then I'll change the grind and show you how that affects reaching the optimal zone. Something else really important to do is to have a scale. And it doesn't have to be a fancy one or an expensive one. It's nice if it has a timer, but it doesn't even need a timer. What you do need is one that measures in tenths of grams. So I've teared out the scale. I'm gonna aim for 16 to 17 grams of espresso. I've got the La Specialista set up at about 13 notches, and I've got the grind setting at two. Let's go. And how much did we get? 16.5 grams. So that is exactly what should fit in our basket. Okay, so this particular espresso machine comes with a nice funnel so that I can do some WD team. All that is is just distributing the grinds a little better. What we're trying to do here is remove any air pockets or any areas where the water might sneak through. That's called channeling. Satisfying. Okay, let's start the extraction and see if we hit the optimal zone. Looks like we are right between eight and nine bars. And we have reached a two to one ratio. Okay, so there you are. There's a shot extracted in the optimal zone. Three important factors, the grind amount, the grind fineness, the distribution and tamping, and again, the fourth factor really is the bean itself. It should be fresh. That's a pretty well extracted espresso right there. 
Mm. Let's pull a second shot and try it with suboptimal settings, okay? So just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna switch this from two to six and see what difference that makes. By the way, when you're adjusting this grinder or any other, you should make the adjustment while the grinder is running. Let's grind our dose. Okay, so to make things fair, I have made the dose the same. This is also 16 and a half grams. We're going to distribute this properly, tamp, and I can just feel this is going to be too coarse. Definitely going to be too coarse. And let's give this a shot. Oh, oh no. Oh, I made a mess. Okay, that goes to show <laughs> that goes to show you how important it is to get the right grind. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.